The school holiday had just begun, and I was ready for a summer filled with mischief and adventure. As a teenager, the promise of weeks without textbooks, early morning alarms, and classroom lectures was a tantalizing prospect. My friends and I had grand plans for the holidays, including spontaneous road trips, late-night gaming sessions, and countless trips to the local burger joint. Little did I know that the mischievous escapade of my vacation would begin right at my mother's office. My mother was a diligent employee in a corporate office. Her job had always seemed like an endless cycle of meetings, emails, and deadlines. It was a world I couldn't quite fathom, yet her dedication to her work was evident in the respect she earned from her colleagues. They often praised her professionalism and efficiency. With the school year ending, my mother, like many working parents, faced a dilemma. She couldn't take the entire summer off, and I certainly couldn't be left unsupervised for weeks on end. So she hatched a plan. Why not bring me to her workplace to keep me occupied during her work days? As we drove to her office that morning, I couldn't help but feel a mix of curiosity and dread. I imagined the office as a sterile and lifeless place, a far cry from the freedom and excitement I had anticipated for my summer break. My mind was already racing with thoughts of escaping to meet my friends or sneak out for an impromptu adventure. Upon arriving at the office, I stepped out of the car and gazed up at the towering building. It was an imposing structure of glass and steel that seemed to scrape the sky. My mother ushered me inside, and I couldn't help but feel like a fish out of water amidst the sea of well-dressed adults who bustled about with a sense of purpose. My mother led me through a maze of cubicles, each one identical to the last. The place was eerily quiet, with only the soft hum of computers and the distant murmur of conversations to break the silence. I followed her like a reluctant shadow, my curiosity about her world growing with each step. Finally, we reached her own cubicle, a small enclave of personal belongings in the midst of corporate uniformity. She gestured for me to take a seat, and I slumped down in her chair, feeling like an intruder in this foreign land. As my mother settled into her work, I tried to keep myself occupied by exploring her desk. I rifled through stacks of neatly organized papers, peered at the family photos on her desk, and even attempted to decipher her cryptic computer screens. None of it held my interest for long. Hours ticked by, and the monotony of office life began to wear on me. I sighed audibly, causing my mother to glance over with a sympathetic smile. She had brought along a backpack filled with books, snacks, and entertainment, but even that couldn't stave off my restlessness. Just when I thought the day couldn't get any duller, my mother's phone rang. She picked up with a sense of urgency, and I could tell from her hushed conversation that something unexpected had come up. It was an urgent client meeting request in another town, and she was needed immediately. My heart sank as I realized what this meant. My mother looked at me with a mix of apology and concern. I'm so sorry, sweetheart, she said. I have to leave for a few hours. Can you stay here at the office? I promise I won't be long. I nodded, though I couldn't hide my disappointment. The thought of being alone in this dull, unfamiliar place filled me with dread. My mother assured me that her boss, Olivia, would keep an eye on me. With a hurried goodbye, she rushed out of the office. As the door closed behind my mother, leaving me alone in the office, I couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The fluorescent lights buzzed overhead, casting a sterile glow over the cubicles. The low hum of distant conversations seemed oddly distant and disconnected. I was acutely aware of my isolation in this corporate world. Moom had assured me that her boss, Olivia, would keep an eye on me. But what could this Olivia possibly do to entertain a teenager on his school holiday stuck in an office? I decided to stay at my mother's desk, aimlessly shuffling through her papers and pretending to be engrossed in her work. Minutes felt like hours as I waited for something, anything, to break the monotony. Then, there she was, 
Olivia was a striking woman who exuded confidence and influence. Her presence seemed to command the attention of everyone in the office. With her well-tailored suit, sharp features, and an air of authority, she was not someone to be trifled with. I watched as she approached my mother's cubicle, her heels clicking with each precise step. She greeted me with a polite smile that barely masked her curiosity. You must be Laura's son, she said, her voice tinged with a hint of amusement. I nodded, a bit taken aback by her directness. Yes, I am. I'm, uh, Alex. Alex, she repeated, her perfectly arched eyebrow rising ever so slightly. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Olivia, your mother's boss. I couldn't help but feel a mixture of awe and intimidation. Olivia was unlike anyone I had ever encountered. She seemed to possess an uncanny ability to see right through me, as though she could sense my mischievous nature even before I had a chance to reveal it. For a moment, I feared that she might reprimand me or send me to the corner of the office to sit in solemn silence. But to my surprise, Olivia had a different approach in mind. With a knowing glint in her eye, she leaned in slightly and whispered, I have a feeling you might find this place a tad boring, Alex. I couldn't help but grin at her perceptiveness. You have no idea, I replied, my guard slowly lowering. Olivia's lips curled into a sly smile. Well, how about we make a deal, she suggested. I promise not to bore you, but in return, you have to promise me that you'll behave. I raised an eyebrow, intrigued by the proposal. What kind of deal are we talking about? Olivia's eyes twinkled with mischief, mirroring my own spirit. Let's just say I have some unconventional methods to keep you occupied. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but one thing was clear. My school holiday was about to take an unexpected turn, thanks to my mother's enigmatic boss. Olivia's proposal hung in the air, a tantalizing mix of curiosity and uncertainty swirling within me. I glanced around the office, its sterile atmosphere feeling increasingly oppressive. Boredom and adventure tugged at me in equal measure. With a mischievous glint in her eye, Olivia leaned in and whispered, Alex, it's a day at the office, but it doesn't have to be dull. How about a little experiment? The word experiment immediately piqued my interest. I leaned closer, my curiosity getting the better of me. What kind of experiment? Olivia smiled, clearly enjoying the intrigue she was building. How about we see if a change of attire can transform your perspective on work? I furrowed my brow, not quite understanding where she was going with this. Change of attire? With a theatrical flourish, Olivia stood and circled my mother's desk. You see, Alex, I couldn't help but notice that your outfit isn't exactly professional. I glanced down at my jeans and graphic tee, suddenly self-conscious about my casual attire. Well, it's just a day at the office. Why dress up? Olivia's response was swift and unexpected. Because, Alex, appearances can have a profound impact on our mindset— Sometimes changing the exterior can lead to an interior transformation. Before I could protest, Olivia reached into her own sleek black bag and pulled out an outfit. It was a stylish and feminine ensemble that seemed wholly out of place in this corporate environment. She laid the clothes on my mother's desk, her expression daring me to accept her challenge. I hesitated, feeling a mix of reluctance and curiosity. You want me to wear that? Olivia nodded, her eyes locked onto mine with an unwavering intensity. I promise, Alex, it's all part of an experiment, a test of discipline, if you will. I bit my lip, torn between the audacious proposal and the fear of what my mother might say. But Olivia's persuasive charm was impossible to resist. All right, I finally agreed, but just for today. Olivia ushered me to her office. In Olivia's private office, I couldn't shake the feeling of entering uncharted territory. Olivia handed me a blonde wig, 
its silky strands cascading like a waterfall. I studied it for a moment, pondering the significance of this added piece to my ensemble. The wig was a beautiful color, and its softness was undeniable. I turned to Olivia, who was watching my every move with a knowing smile. I can't believe I'm doing this, I mumbled to myself. She chuckled softly, her confident demeanor never wavering. Alex, sometimes stepping out of our comfort zones can lead to unexpected discoveries. Think of this as a little adventure. Her words were strangely soothing, and I began to understand that there was more to this than met the eye. With a sigh, I decided to trust Olivia and the enigmatic journey she was leading me on. As I dressed in the lavender skirt and blouse, I couldn't deny the strange sense of liberation that washed over me. It was as though I had shed a layer of my usual self and emerged as someone different, someone willing to embrace the unknown. Once I was dressed, Olivia handed me a pair of black ballet flats. These should complete the look, she said, her voice a blend of encouragement and reassurance. As I slipped into the shoes, I couldn't help but admire the transformation that had taken place. I glanced at my reflection in the office mirror and saw not just a young man in feminine attire, but someone who had embarked on an unexpected journey. Olivia, her eyes filled with a mixture of pride and satisfaction, stepped back to admire her handiwork. Alex, you look wonderful, but remember, this is more than just an outfit. It's a lesson in discipline, in embracing change, and in being open to new experiences. I nodded, feeling a strange sense of gratitude toward Olivia for her unconventional guidance. This day had taken a direction I could never have foreseen, and I was beginning to realize that there was more to learn than I had ever imagined. As I stood before the mirror, dressed in the unfamiliar yet strangely alluring feminine attire, Olivia seemed to read the curiosity and doubt in my eyes. With a kind smile, she gestured for me to take a seat. Let's complete the transformation, Olivia said, as she began to set out an array of makeup products on her desk. Makeup is an art, Alex, a way to enhance one's unique beauty. Today, you'll learn its secrets. I hesitated, still grappling with the notion of this unexpected makeover. But why? I finally asked, my voice tinged with uncertainty. Why go through all this trouble? Olivia paused for a moment, her gaze unwavering. Life, Alex, is about adapting to the unexpected. You'll face situations where you need to change and grow. Consider this a lesson in flexibility, in expanding your horizons. With her gentle guidance, Olivia began to apply makeup to my face, explaining each step with precision and care. As I watched my reflection transform under her skilled hands, I couldn't help but marvel at the power of makeup. It was more than just colors and pigments. It was a form of self-expression, a way to enhance one's unique beauty. And for the first time, I was a part of it. Olivia's expertise and patience were undeniable. She taught me the nuances of foundation, the magic of eyeshadow, and the grace of lipstick. Her teachings went beyond the technical aspects. She shared the artistry behind each stroke of the brush. As the final touches were applied, Olivia stepped back, allowing me to take in my new appearance. I hardly recognized the person staring back at me. It was a mixture of awe and confusion that clouded my thoughts. Olivia, seemingly content with her work, offered me a warm smile. You look lovely, Alex, she said, using my birth name. But remember, today, you are Alice. Alice. It was the name Olivia had chosen for this feminine persona I had adopted for the day. It sounded different, yet fitting, like a name I had never known, but had always belonged to. As we left Olivia's office and re-entered the corporate world, I couldn't help but notice how the dynamics had shifted. People who had once walked past me in indifference now glanced in my direction with curiosity. The transformation, it seemed, had not gone unnoticed. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, 
Subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.